Do you like drama, heightened emotion? Then stay tuned because we're going to be cranking the drama to 11. Softball 360 powered by Monsta Athletics starts right here, right now. Today on Softball 360 powered by Monsta Athletics. What does it take to defend a title? We'll follow the defending champs from Monsta Athletics as they work to repeat. When the stadium power tour kicks in, the world's greatest softball home run hitters get it on as they prepare to crown a champion. Hey, are you ready for a great American road trip? We're driving into desert from Southern Cali to Vegas, headed to one of the first big challenges of the new season, the Sin City Tourney. A softball game with $100,000 on the line. Does it get any bigger? Monster Athletics, the defending USA softball champs, take on their arch rivals from Utrecht. What team will roll home with 100K in their bat bag at the war on the shore? And all work and no play can create a Dullsville day until off the wall office pranks start at Monster Athletics. Strap in, Softball 360 starts right now. Reporting from Target Field, home of the Minnesota Twins. Here's your host, Dakota Vandenberg. Welcome into Softball 360, powered by Monsta Athletics. I'm your host, Dakota Vandenberg, and we're ready for a Monsta summer filled with softball. If you like drama, then how's playing for 100 grand? That puts a lot on the line, but how about playing in front of 35,000 screaming fans? And that's just the start of softball fun and games from Monster Athletics. When the Stadium Power Tour kicks in, the world's greatest softball home run hitters get it on. And Monster Athletics leads the way. Using their FIB technology, the Monster Athletic Sluggers made history last season. The hard-hitting trend started at the season opener in Petco Park, home of the San Diego Padres. It was the day when the moment found Jared Scud Messersmith. His rookie debut was one for the record books, as the youngin' out-homered all the veteran sluggers from the other bat brands. There you go. Get up, ball. Just went in there, got lucky, hit the ball hard, got a great product in my hands. Just helps a lot. Later, another spectacular show for Ryan D Train Daco at the home of the world champion Houston Astros. D Train put the squeeze on at Minute Maid Park with these prodigious show bombs. One after another, leaving the Monster Athletics back. The hard swinging, hefty lefty simply was on fire. At the Power Tour Finals in Miami, the D train was tracking hard to right field inside the home of the Marlins at the championships of the Stadium Power Tour. This is the field in Oklahoma City at the fabled USA Softball Hall of Fame Complex. OGE Energy Field is the softball field of dreams for many. On the hallowed red clay of OKC, Monster Athletics earned the title as the champions. Best of the best in USA Softball. And for 2018, Monster Athletics is ready to repeat and dominate. Wow, that's a lot to look forward to, but let's head to the center of softball in sunny Cala Mesa, California, where softball rules at Monster Athletics. Welcome to what may be the center of the softball universe, the headquarters of Monster Athletics. Hey America, this is Carl Pegnatore with Monster Athletics. I make the highest performance softball bats on the planet. Period. 
For close to a decade, this hardworking, humble office park in Cala Mesa, California, is the place where game-changing softball technology has been created. This registered 97.9 in the second round in testing. That's the hottest second round bat we've ever had. The floating inner barrel basically just improves a hitter. I know a lot of little guys that I put uh, bats in the hands of and they're like, wow. They're like, I never knew. And I'm like, bro, I've been telling you. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and they try the product, product doesn't lie. I mean, that's one of my favorite, favorite sayings, the product does not lie. The FIB is actually inside of the barrel. So when you actually make contact with the ball, the barrel of the bat is hitting that FIB and that's pretty much where all the magic happens and what makes these bats special. And when it's time for lunch, this bunch has their favorites for a manly meal. Spoiler alert, I'm not a vegan, I eat meat. Uh, can I get a double Dirty McCurdy and a tri tip sandwich? Best burgers in your copy right here, Joe. This is a meal fit for the Flintstones right here. A cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, and another bacon cheeseburger. It's pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> pretty excited for this. <laughs> double Dirty McCurdy with uh, tri tip fries. I'm going right to Flavortown. I'm slowing down. These fries are gangster. This is my last meal. It'll be a great one. It's a Dirty McCurdy. We call it the Monster Burger. Oh, yeah. After lunch, all work and no play make for a dull day until a few off-the-wall pranks start up. When the dust settles and we return, find out how they play ball in the Midwest. For close to 40 years, Minnesota celebrates softball at Corky's Early Bird. We'll preview the matchups and show you what to expect and discover the delicious Corky's Pork Patty. Jump in with D-Train, Ryan Dacko for a road trip to the desert, the Sin City Tourney in Vegas. This is the U-Trip Space Coast Facility and the host site for the War on the Shore. A modern stadium perfect for high-stakes softball with 100 grand on the line for Monster Athletics. Softball 360, the nation's only softball television program going on 15 years is powered by Monsta Athletics with the proven game-changing FIB technology. Welcome back into Softball 360 powered by Monsta Athletics. I'm your host, Dakota Vandenberg. And you know the old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, that's not so at the Sin City Tournament where the big boppers come early and hit hard. Are you ready for a great American road trip? We're headed to the desert and one of the first big challenges of the new season, the 2018 Sin City Tourney in Las Vegas. From Cal Mesa to Vegas, it's roughly a four hour drive. Plenty of time to let the mind wander. So my dad used to own, or still owns, a lot of double wides and single wide mobile homes out in Prompt, Nevada. So there would be times where we would have to go evict people from his land and they wouldn't leave. So I would have to use my softball and baseball skills with a bat to uh, basically scare him out of there. After a drive through the desert, Team Monster arrives and they prepare to take on Vegas. The 
the site of the Sin City Tourney one of the best big league dreams. It fits right in with the fun and games vibe of Las Vegas. To the, to the spec, to the team. You don't have to go to Chicago, it's right here, right in front of you. BLD features full-scale replicas of MLB parks. Here's a look-alike for Yankee Stadium and the Center Field Hall of Fame. Venerable Wrigley Field gets the Vegas treatment. Step back in time to Crossley Field, home of the Cincy Reds from 1912 to 1970. And even the iconic left field green monster in Fenway. Two people, pure on three. One, two, three, pure! Let's go, right now, set off. On the Angels field, pure monster athletics came to play and it's clear they know how to get the job done. Just be aggressive every time you're playing. Uh, don't be hesitant. Swing the bat hard. Uh, chase after every ball that's hit at you. And just keep your head down, work hard. Monster Athletics is the young up-and-comer, the game-changers who get the most from their game. Scrappy, you bet. One of the best? Absolutely. My name is Flip, Philip Washington. And I swing for Team Monster. I have a passion for softball. I found something that I love it. And I happen to be good at it. I work at it. Say hey! What's up? I'm very old school. You won't see our team arguing with umpires. I don't allow it. I don't care if it's the best player on my team. If they're going to act like that, behave like that, and disrespect the game and umpires and or our competition, they're gone. It's a beautiful game. Uh, teach you a lot about yourself because it's a game of failure, actually. You know what I'm saying? You're going to fail more times than you succeed, but when you succeed, it is worth it, and the joy that you will get is, is there's nothing that compares to it. It really is. Look at the, the intensity out here, the skill level. This maybe is the beginning of something really cool. We'll see. Two, three, five. Five. Oh, three. Good start, good start. Talk about a duel in the desert. This Sin City tournament never fails to entertain. More coming at you here at Softball 360 in a sec. When Softball 360 returns, the Defending the Title Tour is on. Monster Athletics travels to Southern Minnesota and Corky's Early Bird to defend their USA Softball National Championship. Talk about heavy drama. How would you feel if your team could win $100,000? That's right, 100 large. That's the bar that was set for the teams at Monster Athletics. The event, War on the Shore. Winner take all for 100 grand. Two teams playing for $100,000. Does it get any bigger? That's the stakes for Monster Athletics, the USA softball champs, and their arch rival from Utrecht. I wouldn't really call it pressure. You want to do good for your sponsors. You know, you want to, these guys are putting up 50 grand. Like, 50 grand can change some people's lives. You know, uh, so you don't want to fail them as an individual. You don't want to be that guy to be like, oh man, if I would have got that one hit, or if I would have caught that one ball, or. If I would have threw it to the left a little, you know, you don't want to have that scenario playing in your own mind. So pressure per se, I wouldn't really call it that. I would just call it preparation. Each team owner pledged 50K for a total of 100 grand. When you break it down, it's just about 15K per inning. So batter up. It was 100 grand, $50,000 each side, $100,000 winner take all, best of five series. That's the highest stakes softball. To my knowledge, it's never been done before. Game time temps in the mid-70s along the Atlantic coast in the Sunshine State. A big game needs a fitting site. 
and hosting the High Stakes Softball Show, the recently developed U-Trip Space Coast Softball Facility. In the early games, Team Monster Athletics picked up right where they left off last season as national champs. Big, powerful play and significant early victories. The perfect combo platter with technique and equipment all in sync. We have a very good chemistry with that group. And as, as long as they can keep it together and mesh well, there shouldn't be any reason why we don't repeat. People try to run on me, you know, they think my arm isn't that great or better than the rest. Okay, I'm going to show you. I mean, you prove that in the world by the short. Oh, run on me. Are you kidding me? Like, it's just a passion for the game that, that you have to have in you. It can't be taught. It can't be, you know, instilled in you. You just have to have it, and I believe I have it. Around the clock softball segs into day two, and the games move into the evening hours. But setbacks, adversity, it's part of the game. But you play the game because you want to experience the thrill of the comeback. And that's what's next for Monster Athletics. to find out what team took a hundred grand home in the bat bag. Still ahead, the conclusion to the war on the shore with 100,000 large on the line. Batter up. Monster Softball 360, the nation's only softball television program going on 15 years, is powered by Monster Athletics with the proven game-changing FIB technology. What happened at the War on the Shore? Just who walked away with the winner-take-all check? Let's head back to Florida for some high-stakes softball. Two teams playing for $100,000. That's the stakes for Monster Athletics. But setbacks, adversity, it's part of the game. But you play the game because you want to experience the thrill of the comeback. And that's what's next for Monster Athletics. The war on the shore was a battle to the end. Both teams played hard and hit the ball deep into the Florida night. For Monster Athletics, it did not end as hoped or planned. There were two errors made in five seven inning games. The defense was stunning, the pitching was incredible, the atmosphere was incredible. That was just a great thing. It was an awesome experience. Um, you, you had the best U-Trip team versus the best USA team. And honestly, we beat ourselves. There was no point in that series where they outright beat us. We beat ourselves. And that's just plain and simple. Um, we just didn't get the timely hits that we needed. But out of the loss comes lessons. And plenty was proven right at the war on the shore. And this all bodes well for a team defending a title. Wow, that's an up-close look at some high-stakes softball. From the war on the shore to something a bit friendlier, a preview of the Corky's Early Bird. The face of Minnesota softball took a giant step forward 40 years ago. Back in 1979, Jimmy Carter was president, Sony introed the Walkman, and the mixtape era went mobile. At the same time, in a small southern Minnesota town of Owatonna, a softball tournament was created that forever changed the face of softball for years to come as Corky's early tournament was born. A lot has changed since then, but Corky and his love for the sport remain strong. At Corky's early bird tournament, the players arrive in shape. It's the first weekend in May, and their wheels are rust-free and ready. But it's much more than softball. For close to four decades, the softballers happily head to the cement camp. One of the treats at Corky's, the delicious Corky's pork patty. After four decades, they got these sliders dialed in, and they are deemed a classic softball snack by all who slammed down a few of these. West Coast Monster Athletics is headed to Corky's to defend their title. 
They'll take on the team led by USA softball men's slow pitch head coach, Brett, the hitman Helmer. Helmer knows home runs. He consistently knocked out 500-foot show bombs on the Long Haul Bombers Tour. And he leads a beefed-up squad for H. Otto RDD Easton. The big game is bound to go late at the early bird. And we'll find out if Monster Athletics gets off to a fast start. Monster Athletics will be at the Corky's Early Bird Showdown. I'll have all the highlights for you next week. I'm your host, Dakota Vandenberg. Hit me up on social media or send me any story idea that you have. And like I always say, get out to the park and play. Next week, the Monster Athletic Sluggers cross the border to play ball in Old Mexico. Follow along as they share the American softball game with an international audience in beautiful Hermosilla.